तो तो मेरा खुद का जो थीसिस था नाउ इट वाज अबाउट जेकोबसन प्रोग्रेसिव मसल रिलैक्सेशन इन एग्जाम गोइंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड दिस इज अ प्रोग्रेसिव मेथड ऑफ रिलैक्सेशन वेर इन यू रिलैक्स योर बॉडी गोइंग बाय एवरी मसल एट अ टाइम एंड इट हैज बीन सीन दैट वेन योर बॉडी इज रिलैक्स योर माइंड नेचुरली फॉलोज अ स्टेट ऑफ रिलैक्सेशन सो ये बॉडी और माइंड के बीच का जो बैलेंस है वो तभी मेंटेन रहता है जब दोनों बॉडी एंड माइंड एक रिलैक्स स्टेट में होते हैं Now it was seen in my research itself that you know by practicing JPMR for one month before their exam, the level of exam anxiety went down significantly. Hello everyone, I welcome you back to this channel. Today we have with us Dr. Devashish Palkar sir, who is recently completed his MD Psychiatry from GMC Surat, and currently he is practicing as a senior resident. I welcome you sir to this platform. Thank you so much, Akshat. A pleasure to be here. Okay, so now. as we all know that mental health is already a very less talked about topic right and jab hum medical students ki baat kare to use aur zyada ignore kar diya jata hai because medical profession apne aap mein itna draining hai ki aap first year se start karte hain to aapko tabhi lagne lagta hai ki kafi draining hai but as you go ahead aur zyada draining hota jata hai right but today we will know ki kaise you know if you are facing any problem how you should ask for help and also how you can you know be aware that if in your surrounding you find any of your friend who is suffering you can help them so sir i would like to know that aapke hisab se which are the common you know mental health related problems which you think as a medical student also and which you commonly find in a medical student yeah um, as you rightly said akshat uh, you know the whole journey of starting your life as an mbba student to becoming a specialist you know it's a very long lasting curve and in a field like ours where the education just doesn't stop we are studying into our 30s early 30s as well so if you see there are couple of reasons why the medical journey is a stressful one first and foremost the competition is very severe secondly uh, the stakes are very high you know the curriculum itself is so exhaustive that you almost always find it difficult to complete it before the exam Yes. and then uh, because of the competitions you need to specialize yourself and you need to keep giving competitive exams all the time now all this leads to a build up of tremendous amount of stress and anxiety in any person but fortunately because we have been through this system most of us are adapted to deal with this stress but unfortunately there are some people amongst us who cannot handle that stress who cannot handle that anxiety and i'm sure there is nobody in this world who has not experienced some symptoms of anxiety or some symptoms of stress before their exam now when that stress goes on to a level which affects your performance it is the time when you should seek your help and consultation from a professional like a psychiatrist or a psychotherapist the first and foremost thing is to accept that you know we are all vulnerable and there are bound to be some time when we are not able to cope with the stress and once you realize that the best way is to seek a professional help and come out of it राइट सो सर जैसे कि आपने कहा कि यू नो मेडिकल स्कूल्स में एग्जाम्स काफी ज्यादा होते हैं और उसमें काफी बच्चों को कोप अप करने में दिक्कत आती है सो आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क कि हाउ वन शुड यू नो कीप अप विद मेंटल हेल्थ ड्यूरिंग एग्जाम्स एज वेल एज नॉर्मल डेज क्योंकि कई बार नॉर्मल डेज में लगते हैं एग्जाम नहीं है तो हम पढ़ नहीं रहे तो उसके कारण एक कंप्लेसेंसी आ जाती है एंड मेडिकल में तो आपको पता ही है कि और कितने यू नो टाइप्स ऑफ हैबिट्स आर देयर सो पर्सन कैन डाइवर्ट टू दैट एज वेल सो आई वुड लाइक टू नो दैट हाउ यू कैन यू नो मेंटेन अ मेंटल हेल्थ बैलेंस इन बोथ दीज डेज सो सी अक्षत इट्स मेंटल हेल्थ बाय फाइंडिंग अ मेंटल हेल्थ बैलेंस यू नो इट्स नॉट अ मिरेकुलस सॉल्यूशन दैट यू कैन जस्ट डू इट ओवरनाइट जस्ट लाइक आवर मेडिकल सिलेबस यू कैन नॉट फिनिश दैट सिलेबस ओवरनाइट so it's a totally a journey you know if you talk about mental health then mental health is basically a dynamic concept it is a concept of achieving internal equilibrium between your thoughts your emotions and your external behavior now once you are able to achieve that you know harmonious behavior between your thoughts and emotions you will be able to give a performance which will help you in life and you will be able to cope with it but if your lifestyle are not in sync with your goals for example as you rightly said you know there are days when we do not have exams and we feel oh life is bahut achhi chal rahi hai sab chill hai you know then we are not going to push ourselves to study in those days and finally when we come to exams uh, just a week before exams we feel that you know the stress is so much that we are not able to handle it so the first step starts with preparation so plan your preparation in such a way that before the exams you do not have to stress about completing your syllabus now there are a couple of reasons why people feel stressed just before exam one of the reasons is they are inadequately prepared so for that the only solution is 
to prepare well in advance to structure your time table in such a way that you have ample time available for revision and so that you do not have to you know waste whole night studying before the exam this is a common mistake that many students make uh, you know they do an all nighter they don't sleep the whole night and then they just go uh, to the exam directly in a sleepy state now when they go in that kind of a state they are not able to recall things and then suddenly they are hit with tremendous anxiety and panic attack like situation and the performance deteriorate so this feeling of inadequacy can only be overcome if you are prepared well in advance and the way to do that is to solve more questions to simulate and create an environment wherein you are able to give exams accordingly so for example if you are going for a 3 hour exam then you need to prepare and sit down for 3 hours and give mock exams so that is a good way to practice and good way to begin then there is another reason why people feel anxious during exams is because they are uncertain about what questions will come up about what will be the results now this is a question which is very imaginary in nature people start imagining a very catastrophic situation that i'm going to fail in exams i'm not going to get good marks mm-hmm. now the best solution to that comes from bhagavad gita itself you know wherein it is rightly said that we only have the power over our own actions and our own behavior we do not have the control over our results but many people you know waste their precious time thinking about results we suffer more in imagination rather than in reality so if you are doing that just sit down and talk to your friend or talk to a mentor he will be able to guide you better see there are lot of things in life that bother us but there are only few things which are directly in our control so a better way that we ask our students or our patients is that just write down all their anxieties and all their worries down in a piece of paper and once you do that start analyzing what are the things that are directly in your control and what are the things that are not in your control and try to give as much attention to those things which are directly in your control once you start doing that naturally your anxiety levels will go down right right sir uh, awesome that's very nice to hear from you sir so isme uh, the single thing is that you know doctors are the worst patients right so i remember ki mere uh, yeah. first second year ke exams hote the so mere do teen dost the jo ki aise you know ek raat pehle exam ke self medication le lete hain anti anxiety ke liye ek to ye cheez bahut galat hai medical school mein ki aap स्ट्रेस हो रहा है और एंजाइटी आप उसके बीच के डिफरेंस को समझ नहीं पाते अगर आपको एग्जाम के एक दिन पहले स्ट्रेस है आप सोचते हैं हाँ एंटी एंजाइटी ड्रग ले लेते हैं पेपर दे आते हैं कुछ नहीं होगा है ना बट ये जो एक चीज है जो मैं आपसे चाहूंगा कि इस पे आप सेल्फ मेडिकेशन और स्ट्रेस वर्सेज एंगजाइटी और ये जो स्टूडेंट्स एक्चुअली करते हैं ये करना सही भी है Uh, if you do not have an exam coming you will not be serious about your studies and you will not study in a very planned manner a uh, simple example ye le lijiye ki suppose koi cricketer hai aur usko ek koi weak team ke against match khelna hai aur usko say for example australia jaisi koi strong team ke samne khelna hai match to obviously agar koi weaker nation ke samne wo khel raha hoga to uska motivation level utna nahi hoga so what happens is that you need some amount of stress to perform to your optimal level Yes. अगर वो स्ट्रेस नहीं है तो भी परफॉर्मेंस डिटेरियट होता है बट कभी कभी ऐसा हो जाता है ना कि वो स्ट्रेस इतना ज्यादा बढ़ जाता है कि देन योर परफॉर्मेंस अगेन स्टार्ट्स टू डिटेरियोरेट सो यू सी स्ट्रेस एंड परफॉर्मेंस एक्चुअली एक इन्वर्टेड बेल शेप कव की तरह है एंड यू नीड टू रिमेन इन अ सेंटर सो टू रिमेन इन सेंटर यू नीड टू प्रिपेयर वेल एंड यू नीड टू डिस्ट्रैक्ट योर सेल्फ फ्रॉम दशियस थॉट एंड जैसे आपने कहा कि यू नो सम मेडिकल स्टूडेंट सेल्फ मेडिकेट दम सेल्स जस्ट वन नाइट बिफोर एग्जाम so that is something which is not advisable if you are feeling anxious seek the help of your uh, psychiatric resident or the psychiatrist in your hospital uh, well in advance see bahut logo ko ye pata hota hai ki you know mujhe exams aate hai tab anxiety hoti hai ye trend sa ban chuka hota hai but still they don't do anything about it right till one night before exam right. so ye nahi hona chahiye if you feel that you are anxious it's okay see there is nothing wrong or nothing to be ashamed about feeling anxious there are some people who are designed in that way biologically genetically that they take more stress they are more anxious so un logo ko pehle se agar professional help wo log lenge like one or two weeks before exam then they can be started on anti anxiety medication at that time under supervision and then it will produce great results now i have personally seen you know students who now have approaching uh, psychiatry department like one or two months before exam ki sir mujhe exam ke time pe anxiety hoti hai to main kaise control karu now at that time we still have a scope you know to teach them certain methods to teach them learning techniques to teach them relaxation techniques so that their stress and anxiety will come down right sir rightly said sir
and uh, on the similar line that how you know one should open up someone to someone about their mental health like everyone know that okay th these are the problems these are the uh, signs of you know mental health disturbance but opening up is a difficult part so some you know uh, insight on that see opening up uh, as regards to your mental health is a very challenging topic because it has been stigmatized in our society right you know it has been assumed ki yaar ye kuch mental health ka problem hai to ye to insaan pagal hai now this misconception is not just in common people but even amongst medicals and even amongst doctors right now one of the reasons for that is because we always think that our brain and our mind should always be in our control but it is not going to be like that like for example take your heart or take your kidneys right they are your own organs but they are not directly in your control all the time there are going to be some problems with your digestive system with your cardiac system or with your renal system but we accept that openly we accept that they can misfunction so similar things can happen with our brain as well it's an organ uh, you know just because we think and we act in a certain way we feel that you know our thoughts should always be in our control but it is not going to be so we are all vulnerable to the stresses of life and there is not one reason for it you know there are multifactorial causations uh, biological causes psychological causes even social causes even the causes related to your genetics which might make you more vulnerable to stress so once we realize that and once we accept that brain is also an organ and a vital part of your body which may misfunction at some point of time then maybe we'll be more open about it and to open up about psychiatry uh, causes and psychiatric related problems uh, you know it's better that you start it with someone who you trust because there are bound to be certain people in our society who will make fun of it you don't want to end up uh, with those people so if there is a person whom you trust then just open up with him first and uh, best way is definitely directly approaching a professional and there should be no shame no stigma attached with it see for example if you are suffering from diarrhea would you be ashamed about it or would you seek help right. you would seek help right there is nothing to be ashamed about it similarly if you are facing anxiety your thoughts are racing uh, in your mind you should seek help it's just like any other physical disorder yes sir sure sir so uh, on the similar note that you know many a times it's like that uh, like in my final year i can sub assume that that basically academics ka pressure mm -hmm. itna zyada rehta hai right like right like, like now mm -hmm. i am in final year then internship mein i will be preparing for my neat pg exam so us samay uh, you know koi bhi sochta hai ki academics ko pehle importance di jaye mental health ya jo bhi iske karan se hame samasya ho rahi hai you know we can't focus and we have certain anxiety issues people usually ignore them ki abhi chodo abhi academics ko upper point rakhe so at this point uh, aap kya kehna chahenge ki is it fair to give academics a superior head in certain places in medical study uh, see there should not be ideally any conflict between our academics and our mental health they should go together so if your mental health is suffering your academics are going to suffer and if your academics are suffering your mental health is going to suffer you know they run parallel with each other so if there is a problem in one of the areas then definitely you should give priority to that area and then focus on it if your academics are suffering because of your mental health then definitely you should seek help about it and improve your mental health you know some people who are prone to be anxious prone to be stressful if they are taught certain techniques like cognitive behavior therapy then they will become more resilient and they will be able to cope with that challenge better so rather than running away from challenge the best possible option is to accept that there is a problem in the first place and to seek the treatment for it once you accept the problem exists you will be able to do something about it like for example if you were in school and you found that there is one subject which is very tough for example mathematics you are not scoring good marks in mathematics would you run away from mathematics no you would rather seek help from your teacher or from your senior and try to understand what are the areas that you are lacking in similarly for mental health what are the areas where you are lacking in are you not able to handle stress are you not able to sleep well what is the problem identify the problem and then deal with it once you deal with it then you will naturally see that your academics will improve but uh, many a times what happens is that people think that you know my mental health is not in a good condition so i should just quit but that is also not a good way to go about it first mm -hmm. accept that your mental health is in a problem and seek help and then we will find out if you are not able to cope with it then there are many other alternatives available to you
right definitely sir also sir as you mentioned about cognitive brain therapy i would like to ask you that what are some kind of therapies you know which could benefit a medical student because if you generally think of uh, psychiatry as a psychopharmacological aspect so yes it has the pharmacological aspect mm -hmm. but there are many therapies right which could yeah. really benefit not only a medical student but yeah. any student in their learning curve as well as you know their stress issues so would you like to you know pay some emphasis on that uh, so well akshar you know many people have this belief that psychiatrists only prescribe medication but it is a wrong notion to have because psychiatrists don't just prescribe medications there is something known as psychotherapy right. which is a non pharmacological modality of treatment yani ki logo ke sath baat cheet karke unke thoughts unke emotions ko samajh ke unhe ek acche se counseling karna aur ek therapy mein le jana so there are various modalities available for that uh, now now apart from relaxation techniques there are other therapies like cognitive behavior therapy now cbt mein kya hota hai basically See, we all have some thoughts, we all have emotions, and we all have behavior. Now, yeah. all these three things are actually endpoints of a triangle, and all these things are related to each other. So, as you think, so you will have your emotions, and so you will have your behavior. If there is any problem in either emotions, in your thoughts, or in your behavior, then your entire mental health becomes disrupted. So, in CBT, we try to identify what are the cognitive distortions. That is, in thinking, in understanding, what are problems? Okay. what are the problems at the emotional level a person is having and what are the problems that a person is facing at the behavioral level we try to find out ki exact cause kya hai and then by changing certain dynamics between our thoughts our emotions and our behavior we are able to you know make the person understand where the problems are and how to function in a better manner so apart from relaxation we have cbt we have certain techniques called mindfulness therapy in mindfulness therapy there is again you know focusing our attention in the present moment and not letting our mind wander in the past or in the future so that is a technique called mindfulness meditation so these are various therapies that are available to us right sir so that's uh, really nice to hear from you sir so i guess uh, this is very important for every student right from their mbbs first year to the final year or any year or any aspect yeah. whenever they face any issues they should surely reach out for help and you will be shocked to know that how many options are available for you so uh, mai aapko ek cheez aur batana chahta hu ki sir is active on twitter as well as on instagram uh, i will mention his handles name so aapko agar unse koi bhi you know uh, issues discuss karna ho so you can also dm uh, to the sir so sir final message aap students ke liye jo aap ek dena chahte hain right from jo aapne khud mbbs mein mehsoos kiya ho so right now at this stage when you can you know treat uh, people about the particular uh, difficulty so ek final message students ke liye aap kya dena chahte hain uh, yes yeah. see, see akshay you know as a medical student hamare sab ki journeys mein ek time aisa aaya hua hai ki you know we faced certain anxiety and i also went through certain anxiety before exams i could not sleep before exams uh, i used to have palpitations before viva and at that time you know i was fortunate that i could seek help from a professional psychotherapist and based on certain relaxation techniques i was able to control my anxiety and perform well in my exam so the important thing is to identify when you are facing anxiety when you are under stress and to seek help openly uh, and always try to use positive or helpful coping strategies now helpful coping strategies could be like you know exercising meditating listening to your favorite music or you know pursuing your hobbies because these are also very important aspects of our life but unfortunately during our medical curriculum we forget that there are other aspects of our life as well right right sir so uh, that's really nice so uh, jaise ki sir ne kaha ki at any point you should always come ahead to uh, have your help and <coughs> sorry सो so, जैसे कि सर ने कहा कि एट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यदि आपको कोई भी हेल्प लगती है सो यू शुड रीच आउट टू द पीपल देयर आर मेनी ऑप्शंस अवेलेबल एंड यू शुड नेवर फील दैट आप तो खुद मेडिकल स्टूडेंट है तो आपको क्यों इतना स्ट्रेस लेना आप तो खुद सेल्फ प्रेस्क्राइब कर सकते हैं मेडिसिन और जा सकता क्या ही हो जाएगा मेंटल हेल्थ ही तो है राइट सो दिस इज द फाइनल नोशन दैट आई वॉन्टेड टू क्लियर फॉर एवरी वन एंड एंड लास्ट वन मोर लास्ट वन मोर पॉइंट यू नो एंड you should not feel that you are alone who is suffering from this right you know, if you look at the statistics of mental health there are 15 to 17% of the population who is facing anxiety and depression related problems and even amongst medicals itself you know currently i am seeing 3 to 4 medical students coming to me uh, facing certain issues so you are not alone okay so right. please don't under be that under impression okay? 
yeah bilkul so uh, this is uh, i think this is everything that you need to know regarding uh, this particular topic here so you can surely reach out to sir also you can comment below if you have any of the query uh, we will try to respond it at the earliest thank you so much sir i am grateful sure. for your presence here and uh, would love you know if you can guide students on the same topic more and more thank you akshat uh, it was wonderful talking to you yeah. yes sure sir thank you so much all right yeah